And just across the way is one of the fabulous assistant coaches, and she's an incredible choreographer of those unforgettable floor routines that you have come to love. Shannon Evans with her Super Mario routine, Rebecca Bean Ripley with her Barbie Girl routine. It's Brogan Evanson, the mastermind behind <laughs> it all. Brogan, welcome to the show. Excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Let's go. We got regionals <laughs> tomorrow in Poly Pavilion at UCLA. That's kind of a cool yep. venue for uh, what will be the biggest meet of the year so far. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. We just leave this afternoon, so getting on the plane in a few hours. Let's go. Okay, let's yeah. walk through the schedule. Okay, okay, so you get on the plane, yeah. you land. What's the routine to get right mentally and, and get set physically to, to compete in an historic venue? Yeah, so it's just like we do all season long, which is kind of we're always preparing for this moment, so it, we keep it pretty similar. So we get off the plane, get on our bus, head to our hotel, check in, relax, you know, usually about an hour at the hotel, go to dinner, spend some time as together as a team. We're usually treated really nice. Food's always waiting for us. It doesn't <laughs> take much to eat. And then we're back to the hotel and um, our sports medicine takes over and gets yeah. the girls all ready, getting treatments done, and then early to bed. So you'll so. see the apparatuses for the first time tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll check in at the arena around 11 o'clock, and warm-ups will start at noon. So we'll just it'll just be go time. Then we're going at two. Yeah. Okay. So in this regional, it's super interesting because you're kind of in a play-in scenario to get into the pod right the next yeah. day, but it's a familiar foe. Uh, it's Boise State, who you've competed against four times this year. Yeah. How does that help or hurt in this situation? I think it helps. I think our our team is really familiar with what Boise does. Um, I think we started the season kind of getting our feet wet and then we've built and built and built. And so the last two interactions that we've had with Boise have been like really strong for our team to build confidence, especially at the conference championships. Yeah. And Boise was right there the whole time, but we know they're athletes and we know that if we put our best foot forward, we can do great. Southern yeah. Utah, I mean, from the get-go, kind of established themselves as, you know, the premier program in the Mountain Room Gymnastics Conference <laughs> this year. But there was a lot of fluctuating between you and Boise State and Utah State. So to yeah. finish second, yeah. what does that do for your team confidence-wise moving forward into this unique head-to-head -head showdown? Yeah. Uh, you know, in gymnastics, it's like at the end of the day, the score is what matters. And so SUU, kudos to them. They've had an amazing season. I'm just, you know, they're, they're friends of ours, of course. We yeah. see them all the time. We know their staff. We know a lot of their athletes. So they had a great year. And congratulations, you know. Um, but... In terms of our team, I feel like we were hot at, at conference. Um, we were, you know, coaching our athletes up to like be mentally focused, do what you practice, and I feel like they did that. You know, we still had some mistakes, so sure. we know we can build better on that score. But it was a high score for us for this year, and the girls are pretty hungry. So when I go into practice the last week and a day, I'm like this, these. These girls are ready. It's good. Like, the they good. are. They are ready. And they work yeah. crazy hard. Like everybody's working hard at BYU, but <laughs> you guys work crazy hard, um, which which yeah. we see in person. Okay, the floor choreography, as Spencer mentioned. Obviously, you are going for high scores, but there's sort of a viral nature the last couple of years to a few of these. How validating is that when like people really enjoy what you've choreographed? <laughs> Well, I enjoy my job more when we're doing fun <laughs> stuff like that, right? So, I mean, I, I think, like, floor in NCAA gymnastics is just an awesome opportunity. I mean, they're great athletes, and I get to see every day they have amazing personalities. And so what I have fun doing is kind of matching mm. who they are with their music and with their style. And then I think that's what's fun about it for the fan or for the crowd or even for the judge is, like, they get to see who this girl is, like, through their expression and mm. through their performance. And then, you know, when, when our, our athletes get the feedback from the fans, like, we love watching this, then yeah. that just makes them better and better. So. Is it the most creative element in NCAA sports? Because, I, I mean, like, yeah. the way I yes. dribble a ball or the way <laughs> I tackle someone, the way I hit a volleyball, I'm trying to think, like, you know, the, what's the, more creative? What's than more that? creative right. than the floor? Thank in you. Gymnastics. I go with Probably that. nothing. I don't think so. I think it Did, tops it. I think that's why it gets so much attention, right? Yes. Because it's enjoyable. It's so unique, yeah. um, and it's it's essentially dancing with muscular, uh, you know, amazingness, <laughs> uh, which is awesome. With, with this group and this moment tomorrow in Poly Pavilion at two, well, you you said, hey, we're ready for this. We're ready for this. 
what is it that this team is sort of uh, built towards in this moment of like the season high recently and now, okay, yeah. this is our moment. Yeah, I, mean, I, I coach vault and floor specifically. Mm -hmm. So we're controlling our thoughts. What are we thinking about? What are we going after? And it doesn't have to be more than you do because what you do is already great. So it's being in the moment and what you think affects kind of how you act and how you perform and how you affect your team. The sports and psychology so element of it. Yeah. yeah, and so it's one routine after another, one athlete at a time, one skill at a time, and just doing like what you already do mm. so well. We got to dial yeah. that down because we're always like three segments at a time. We need to <laughs> trim that down to just Focus. this segment. <laughs> just this segment. You yeah. mentioned you coach the vault as well, mm -hmm. and for what it's worth, I believe that this still holds true. The vault score of 49.375 is the highest score of any of the events this year and you did it late in the season so yeah your teams are showing up at the right time yeah our, I'm, our vault team has stuck more landings this season than than I can remember from even past seasons combined fantastic so they have really dialed in on like their awareness and how how to you know capture the last moment which is that stick awesome. yeah all right let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma so you can take yeah, it back luck to all the women Thank and you. you can take care of business against Boise State and get into that 14 pod appreciate it all right I'll take it thanks Brogan thanks you guys